Now that it is officially summer, our days are longer, which means there's probably a lot more socializing going on around food and drink outside, which also means that the nights and maybe even the afternoons are just getting a little bit fuzzier. And if you're anything like me, then you probably spend a lot of your winter into your spring really focusing on improving and taking care of your health and fitness and really instilling those healthy habits. And now that you've finally gotten the hang of it, you don't wanna go backwards or lose any progress that you worked so hard for. But don't be afraid to have fun this summer. You can totally improve your health, fitness, and well-being while still enjoying yourself over the summer and not losing any of your hard-earned results. You can make Fit Girl Summer super complicated or you can do this. It's up to you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Anita, a Bachelor of Health Science graduate, a huge fitness and health enthusiast, and an online fitness coach and content creator. And I'm here to tell you that Fit Girl Summer is not about looking a certain type of way. It's about becoming more fit physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. It's about spending the season continuing the journey of becoming the best version of yourself so you can be more, do more, and achieve more positive impact for the people that are around you too. So whether you are looking to stay in shape, adopt healthier habits, or simply just feel your best this summer, this video is packed with tips to help you achieve your goals and stay on track so that you can have a fit girl summer. So let's dive right in. So in my opinion, summer is the perfect time to switch up your workout routine and take advantage of the warm weather making it way easier in my opinion to incorporate physical activity into your daily routine with the warmer weather comes more variety that you can add to your workouts that help you just stay active have a healthier lifestyle and have fun while you're doing it too from outdoor activities like biking and hiking to doing more like boot camp style hit classes hot yoga outdoor pilates even just backyard home workouts and things like strength training and going out for jogs and runs. The key to incorporating physical activity into your Fit Girl Summer routine is not taking the easy way out every single time, aka to not take the lazy way out every single time. For example, start taking the stairs instead of the elevator, start parking a little bit farther away than you would. Use your free 10 to 15 minutes to just go out for a walk around the block, get some sun on your skin instead of scrolling mindlessly through your social media. Just do anything that will get your body moving. Cause you're not here to learn about how to have lazy girl summer, right? You're here to figure out how to create your fit girl summer routine. So tip number one is to start calling yourself out when you're being lazy and to stop taking the easy way out. And honestly, if you've been in the gym all spring and all winter long, working on that body, working on that strength, working on that mental health, changing up your environment and getting outside for your physical activity is a really great way to overcome any kind of plateau you might be feeling like you're facing right now. Instead of the gym, take it outside or do some home backyard workouts. Or my husband and I, what we like to do is just take the soccer ball out to the school nearby kick it around and decompress after a day of working and a day of being in front of screens. Usually around summertime, a lot of people feel like they're really plateauing with their results or their strength in the gym. And I think honestly, it's a little bit because we get too caught up in society's standards of what summer bodies should look like. And at around this time of the year, people become so stressed and they get so hard on themselves because of the pressure that they're putting on themselves. Working out, dieting, and trying to get to some sort of standard that society has set on us. That is not what Fit Girl Summer is all about. Now, a Fit Girl Summer is not just about the workouts and the physical activity and moving your body. It's also about nourishing your body with nutritious meals. But that does not mean that having a Fit Girl Summer is about 
falling into the trap of diet culture, getting consumed with these fad diets, and depriving yourself. It's about learning how to listen to our bodies. Like listening when your body is feeling light, energetic, satisfied, and fulfilled. So a tip I have for you is to take a step back after you're done eating or snacking and kind of wait like 30 to 60 minutes to really think about how your body feels after that. Because I know for me, overeating and over snacking used to be something that just over consumed me, especially during the summer months. And I found that just doing this, take a pause, 30 to 60 minutes after I'm done eating, checking in with how I feel, meant that I actually consumed way less calories by listening to my body instead of overindulging because I was coming from a state of deprivation, restriction, being over consumed by certain diets, and then over consuming calories on the back end. And in fact, what I find is 99.9% .9 of my clients actually end up losing weight by eating more consistently because of being in a calorie deficit is super stressful for the female body. So instead of thinking about cutting calories and slashing carbs, check in with yourself first. Check in to see if are you moving enough? Are you sleeping enough? Are you drinking enough water throughout the day? Because Fit Girl Summer is all about supporting your body in foundational ways. Work with your body, not against it. It literally makes for such an easier summer. And on the channel, I've already got a few different videos on meal prepping tips and my meal prepping process. So definitely go and watch those because I do find that learning how to batch cook and really take yourself on healthy grocery hauls, kind of plan out some food and snack and meal options for the week, really helps set you up for success over the summer and takes the stress off of you to nourish your body and eat right. Especially when it comes to creating a habit around eating more consistently, eating more protein, and reducing any unnecessary snacking or binge eating. But remember that your body is different from my body and our bodies are different from everyone else's body. We all have different and unique nutrient requirements. But one thing I think that most of us can agree on is that adding more greens to your plate and vegetables and fruit to your meals, like literally challenging yourself to like eat as much of the rainbow and having a colorful plate makes us feel better, but also helps us kind of diversify what we're eating and helps our body, our gut, our digestive system get the nutrients that it needs. So that's a fun little challenge. And what I also love about Fit Girl Summer is that these fruits, these veggies, so many different awesome things are available to us seasonally right now. And so really kind of trying to taste the rainbow on your plate just helps us feel lighter, more energetic, and better. I also really love supplementing my diet with this greens and reds superfood because it's jam-packed with different probiotics, prebiotics, digestive enzymes, and then tons of fruits and veggies. So like, what do we have in here? You got organic greens blend, which includes organic spinach, parsley, kale, barley grass, wheat grass, spirulina, chlorella, green peppers, green apples, green bananas, sweet potatoes, broccoli. And then there's also your reds in here too. So strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, tart cherry, pomegranate, cranberry, beets. Like so good, such an awesome way to start the day. And then you're already, boom, getting a bunch of the rainbow in your diet with a greens and reds powder. Because to me, Fit Girl Summer isn't about feeling bloated, lethargic, drained, slow, or uncomfortable. Like, you know the feels, right? Like when like just around your midsection, you feel like you're packing more weight, you feel heavy, you feel like you got brain fog, and you feel like you have no energy. I literally feel like just cleaning up that plate, sprinkling a few different colors, really diversifying what you're eating, and listening to your body when it's sending you those cues will help so much. As for me, the end goal for Fit Girl Summer is about having your body's insides really match the vibe of summer and what's going on outside. Feeling light, bright, energetic. Just 
good. And since we are talking about diet, remember that everything is food. Every single thing that we interact with throughout the day feeds us in some way. The people we hang around with, the content we're consuming, the music we're listening to, the conversations that we're having with ourselves and other people. Start paying attention to what you're feeding yourself. Be intentional with what you ingest and pay attention to if it truly makes you feel good. Your body is not shy. She will always tell you what's working for her and what's not. Staying motivated and practicing self-care are huge aspects of having a fit girl summer too. Because there is nothing fit about having your mind and your soul feel stressed out, disconnected, or anxious, right? And when you do feel that way, are you really going to feel fit to carry out your huge bucket list this summer? Probably not, right? When you focus on self-improvement physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, you become more fit to pursue your goals and make the people around you feel better too. Now, the key to meaningful self-care is to practice self love and learn how to prioritize how to take care of yourself on a deeper level that's why sometimes after you did that face mask had that bubble bath or read that book for 20 minutes you still don't really feel fit to take over the world in order to truly prioritize yourself and have a fit girl summer you've got to truly believe that you are worth it because when you put yourself first you reinvigorate yourself. You have more energy and joy to give to the people around you. And you're fit to do life and not get worn out by it. So these motivation and self-care tips aren't about having cute bubble baths and getting your nails done. If you want to have a fit girl summer, you have got to schedule it in. Because the reality is when you're done watching this video, how has your schedule changed in any way? How has life's demands on you changed in any way? This summer is going to be different. No making excuses that you don't have enough time. If you're not used to taking care of yourself, I get it. It's going to be really difficult to figure it out at first. And if this is the case, then you will definitely benefit from scheduling in some fit girl time this summer, whether that's on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. Like reserve chunks of time to get some physical activity in, to go out on a nice grocery haul to the market and pick up some colorful fruits and vegetables and make time to create a healthy meal out of it, but also to reserve time to practice focus, gratitude, being in the moment, meditation, and self-reflection. I feel like I could do like a whole video on self-care rituals and I probably just might. So for now, I'm just gonna leave this here. Book this fit girl summertime into your schedule like you would book holidays and vacations. Get excited to pre-plan and pre-book some fit girl summer activities to take care of yourself and learn how to love yourself and make the most of this season. Fun is the final piece of the puzzle of knowing how to have a fit girl summer. When we're stressed out, putting way too much pressure on ourselves, and comparing ourselves to one another, it's easy to forget that fit girl summer means being able to do things that make us feel like our best and fittest selves to go out there and take on the world. Fit physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So this summer, forget being stuck in the diets, in the comparison traps, in the gym for hours. Because by making simple changes, you can lose weight sustainably. And I mean weight physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And end up feeling like a whole new you. And that's the magic. Don't look to another yo-yo diet this summer or to any kind of crazy, unsustainable summer challenge. Instead, ask yourself, can I commit to some simple habits that will work with my body instead of against it so that I can actually move the needle a little bit for my whole health and well-being? And let me know in the comments below which tip or idea resonated with you the most. Or if you have any other fit girl summer suggestions to share. And 
And if you're ready for Fit Girl Summer, but you're still feeling overwhelmed, or you still need a little bit more guidance, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more fitness tips and videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and give it a thumbs up if you got any value from it and get pushed out to more people like you. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay motivated and keep shining.